Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I turn this scary flamingo looking lamp into a beautiful light fixture for a little girl's room. Before we get started, I wanted to tell you about a free app that's perfect for us mommies or soon to be mommies looking for great deals on quality items for our families. The app is called Virage Sale and I'll leave the download links in the description box below. This app is similar to Craigslist in that it's made up of thousands of local communities, but much safer because it requires a Facebook sign-in so you know exactly who you're buying from. You can find everything from home decor to baby equipment with new deals added daily. So after you're done watching this video, I definitely recommend that you head over to Barrage Sale and download that app. So I picked up this lamp at a thrift store for about $3 and it's in working condition it's a little grimy I think from being at the thrift store it's a target lamp it probably used to be really cute I don't know what's going on with that lampshade but it's terrible now so I just wiped everything down with a disinfectant wipe and removed the lampshade and now I'm covering up the plastic crystal pieces so that way I don't get spray paint on them because I'm going to spray paint the base of this lamp I want it to match the room decor so I need a hot pink color pink instead of this light pearl color pink. So I'm just going to paint over that. And so just using a few coats, I used two coats, two coats of spray paint, hot pink spray paint. I got the spray paint for about $3.50 at Walmart. And now I'm going to take apart the shade. The shade was the worst part about this lamp. So I just picked it apart, cut it apart, and just cut it down until I got to the wire frame. I got this idea from another YouTuber and I'll leave a link to their video in the description box below. So using parchment paper I traced out a pattern or a stencil of each section of the lamp and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a second. But then I cut out six panels, one panel for each section of the lamp. And this is just regular cotton fabric. I used it in the last Trash to Treasure makeover. And I had a lot of fabric left, so I used it for this. So now that I have my six panels, I laid them out. And then I went over them with an iron to make them straight. And you see how they're going to fit right there. And now all you need is your glue gun and some glue sticks. So starting with my first panel, I'm just going to begin using the glue gun to adhere the panel to the wireframe. And because this wireframe is coated in paint or something, it's, it's coated, it's not just a plain shiny smooth wire, this stuck on there very, very well. The fabric really adhered to this. The first panel was the hardest, well it wasn't hard, the first panel took the most time because I had to tuck all the ends under. And then after that, it was easy, super easy. Make sure you cut your panels a little bit wider than the frame, so that way you have some room for tucking so that it looks nice and clean when you're finished. You don't want to cut the panel too short or just right because then you'll have to set it on there perfectly. So you just keep applying your panels until all of the panels have been added to the wireframe and the lampshade is complete. So after it's all complete, I just trim it up a bit just so it looks nice and neat. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just so it doesn't look too bad. And then I'm trying to decide here how I want to accent it and hide where I glued the panels on. And normally I would have used ribbon, but I didn't have a ribbon that I really liked. So I decided to use these rhinestones because I have two tons of them. And I thought it looked really nice. So using the glue gun I applied rhinestones to each one of those seams until I had gone all around the shade and I've 
got my lampstand back and I'm just taking the masking tape off of the places where I covered it up. And the spray paint has dried. This is a super simple project. So now I'm just putting the lampshade back on and putting the bulb in it. And this project was a success. This lamp looks a thousand times better than it did before. I hope you're enjoying this Trash to Treasure series on my channel in addition to the tutu videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.